Well, a 16 year old is facing a charge of shooting with intent to kill after a weekend shooting at a Tulsa Airbnb. Police tell us it happened during a party at a short term rental home in Tulsa's Owen Park neighborhood. Two News Oklahoma's Amanda Slee spent the day looking into Tulsa's ordinances on short term rentals and what happens when there's trouble. Police found a man had been shot during a party at an Airbnb house on Easton Road near Gilcrease Museum Road. They say they recovered four guns. Neighbors tell me they haven't had any problems with this particular house, but have had concerns about others. We wanted to know more about how Tulsa regulates short-term rentals, so we talked with Councilor Kara Joy McKee, who represents this area of Tulsa. In July 2020, the city of Tulsa adopted a short-term rental ordinance as a way for the city to keep track of Airbnbs and regulate how they are used. To be compliant, an owner must get a license to run an Airbnb. The license means means that we at the city are monitoring what they are doing and have show ha, have made sure they are in compliance with all the rules that they are connected with their neighborhood and that they're connected with the city of Tulsa. Councillor McKee says one of the main goals is to prevent Airbnbs from being used as party houses. She says the ordinance is managed by an employee who works in neighborhoods as code compliance. It is the responsibility of someone maintaining an Airbnb to make sure that they are in compliance, that they are renting to the right number of people, that the right number of, of cars are allowed there, and that it does not become a party house. If an Airbnb owner gets three strikes, their license is revoked. Neighbors can report issues, um, and we have a code compliance officer who goes out there, who monitors, who can go out at odd hours, not just your regular nine to five, to make sure that things that 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 these Airbnbs are in compliance. Councillor McKee says while the ordinance is new, she says they'll make adjustments as needed. Councillor McKee says this isn't the first time they've had issues with Airbnbs in the Owen Park neighborhood, and she is working to see how they can resolve those problems. In the control room, Amanda Slee, 2 News, Oklahoma.